We made it to Pozo Azul. Pozo Azul. Parrot family. <laughs> I love the parrots. There's like maybe 12. Probably 12. So when you're driving up here, you'll park on the road and then it's about a 20 minute walk or so. Mm -hmm. a little hike uphill, downhill. It wasn't really too intense. Just, Just follow the road. Don't turn off because there's a lot of private property and it dead ends directly into the park. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Let's check it out. Those are slippery rocks. Yeah, Be careful. the sand is pretty nice. Sand is so nice. Man, it's cold water, but it feels really good. Hey, we made it. We did. It was really interesting, stealth changing. Uh, yeah, the waterfalls are cascading throughout here. Uh, some of them, like the one right back here, is one of the bigger ones. We haven't hiked up there yet, so we're gonna do that here in a second. Yeah. But some of the smaller ones that, yeah. I'm just checking. <laughs> <laughs> we totally are gonna hike up there. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna go swimming. We'll see you in a bit. Ah! This water is really cold. Uh, the water is super fresh, <laughs> and it's super cold. <laughs> it's totally frozen. What's up? You're doing great. And you didn't even break it now, did you? Didn't break it, not yet. Good job. I'm a diva. So we found a pretty secluded area that is absolutely gorgeous next to some falls. We found a spot with a lot of sun on it. One thing to note, there are sand flies here and they have been biting. So um, yeah, there's that. Now we're on our trek back to uh, Jorge, yeah. our driver, and uh, we're gonna go get something to eat probably. I'm gonna try to make it out of here alive. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Scrambling up those rocks. Bouldering folks. I've never done this before. Except with Brian. But now I'm doing it barefoot. This is all new. It's all new. Okay.
What a gorgeous day. Wow, we just got back from exploring, climbing all over rocks, boulders. I'm a newbie. Uh, so that was really wild. I had adrenaline just like pumping forever. We saw a toucan. Two! Two, two toucans. Two toucans. We saw another bird called Oro Pendula. Pendula. Oro, Oro Pendula. Pendula. Yeah. It is a blackbird with a yellow tail that flares out when, uh, when it, it flies. flies. Amazing. It was gorgeous. Amazing. Yeah. What a beautiful day. So why she's not really the biggest boulder is, uh, hold up your hand for a second. Look at those nails. My gosh. Oh. Other way. They made it. My gosh. She didn't break. She didn't break a single <laughs> nail. Wow. Is that How hilarious? lucky is that? And she didn't get any dirt underneath them, which is. They actually look really clean. Yeah, super clean. I don't clean. know how that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was amazing. So it was a really, really cool experience. Uh, the water was really cold, um, but I went ahead and just dove in head first because here's the thing. When you're doing something and you're putting your toes in the water and you're just testing it out and you're just like, ooh, ooh, this is so uncomfortable. Guess what? The best way sometimes to overcome that obstacle is to dive in head first because that is the only way that you're gonna be able to get past your fears, yes. whatever's holding you back. Yeah. Like in this case, it's like, oh, the water's a little bit cold. Guess what? As soon as I took some deep breaths really quickly, I said, you know what, let's do this. And I dove in head first, mm. guess what? All of a sudden, it was cold for a second, but then it started feeling warm. Then all of a sudden, the experience started unraveling right before my eyes. So just saying, regardless of what the situation is, be it you're jumping in some cold water for the first time, you're starting a business online. You're able to like build it to the point that you can go travel the world, be where you want, when you want with your love. Go in head first. Yeah. You're gonna love yourself for it. Yes, yes. I know that I definitely pushed myself to the limits. Not sure if it sounded as mystical as Brian diving under <laughs> the water, but it was really cool. It's really cool when you experience new things and you push yourself to do new things, not try. Trying sucks and it's not even really a thing. So anyways, thank you for hanging out with us. If you haven't yet, go ahead, click subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday that we come out with fresh videos just from you, from the windy Santa Marta and beyond. Until next time, friends. Adventure on. Adventure on. Hasta luego. <laughs> Woo, that was cold. Fresh. And now it's got warning signal. Warning signal. Still recording. There it goes. <laughs> We didn't read the instructions before we took it underwater. Yeah.